So I haven't made these devlogs in a while because I got burnt out on game dev. And that's around when I put out uh, the last Golden Project and then just sort of said, oh, I'm not going to work on games for a while and uh, did a bunch of music. And I worked on my uh, novel. I, I think I'm nearly done with the first draft of that. I'm working on a novel, by the way. It's uh, Peter Pan adjacent. It's it's uh, in the same universe as that, except without Peter Pan or uh, Wendy, and it's not in Neverland. It's in it's in Nowhere Land, which you wouldn't have heard of, but it is canon, and it's basically about oppression and revolution and uh, fun stuff. Um, if you if you want to read it, you can contribute to my Patreon. And it's it's up there to read my work in progress, but I've come out of that burnout now, and so I've been I've mostly been back working on Detective Game again, um, and also surprisingly working on Restricted RPS because people started started playing it, which uh, is surprising. So I ended up getting into a couple games and immediately finding all sorts of bugs and stuff to fix. So there's already been like two versions within a week. Meanwhile, on Detective Game, so part of my burnout was that just having to com continually remake and rejigger and, and rethink how Detective Game works was uh, getting to me. But I think during that burnout time, I finally came to how it should be done uh, properly, and now I'm applying that. So now it looks uh, a lot more basic, the, the designer. I've decided the data needs to be as generalized as possible to allow as much as possible. I'm essentially moving a lot of the complexity off of the game engine side and putting it onto the designer. I've essentially made it so that the design side is a lot more work, but also the designer is taking the load off that work instead of the game engine through the use of uh, like macros and a link I click to create a bunch of boilerplate type of things that I, I normally use for a human, like their blood type and their birth date, but then I can just delete those if it isn't important to a character. And I have things where I can uh, easily search for questions involving a character or involving anything really. For example, there's a character, the records character, who you go to to get city records about people and locations. And the way I had it set up before is the, the game engine would have a default response based on whatever you gave the records person, but I've offloaded that from the game engine into the designer so there's a little link so that when I click the records person to question them about something, it'll be their default thing that gets filled in for me, but it's not what I have to go with. So I could put in anything and that allows a lot more freedom in the design so if I wanted to, say, have the records uh, person uh, end up being involved in the investigation, like like they have a, a family member involved in the investigation and they decide to lie to you, I could have that happen. Not saying it's going to happen. <laughs> it's not a spoiler. But it, it just means that essentially anything is possible. Um, <laughs> um, so, uh... Uh, watch that golden project, listen to my music, uh, patron my Patreon, and read my novel, and, and uh, go play Restricted RPS. There's actually people playing it now. It's awesome. You'll love it.